Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Super Robot Wars. Well, let's upgrade some units before we do anything. No. No. Hmm. Who to upgrade? I wonder, can I? Nope. I need quite a bit of cash. Could do that. Hmm. I could boost grade a bit more. I could even out a uh, bolt stats. That could help out. I'll do that. Let's do some weapon upgrading. We need some weapon upgrades. No, you're good. You need some. I give you two. I'll give you one. Boss, I give him one. Eh, why not? One upgrade for boss. I guess that's it. Next map. 35 Grieving Skies. The Argos? Where have I tried that name be heard that name before? Wait, wasn't the ship that disappeared during an investigation beyond the asteroid belt? Yes, the planetary investigation ship Argos. Its captain was Professor Kozo Aiba, and the crew considered primarily of the professor's family. In fact, everyone of the ship was related to one another in some way, shape, or form. Three years ago, they left in the direction of L4 to investigate an unknown gravitational anomaly and never came back. Why, yes, I remember that. Our company was one of the sponsors. But the gravitational anomaly wasn't a natural occurrence. It was there we found a Radom ship on its way to invade Earth. Huh? No way, three years ago? Of course. We didn't know what that at the time. We detected the s no signs of life as we approached. All our scanners detected was some kind of vegetation on the inside. That's why we entered the invest to investigate further and... and... Hey, what's the matter, D-Boy? No, it's nothing. Inside, we were captured by some kind of mysterious spheres. One after the other, there were no, no time to escape. They got all of us. And that, that was the Radon's method of invading Earth. They got all of you? Did they swallow you up? How would that let them invade Earth? The ones taken inside became Tekamen. What? Oh my god, so D-Boy, you got turned into... Our flesh was remade within the walls of Radom's ship. And all that while, they replanted their knowledge, feelings, and instincts into us. We would become their perfect weapons for invasion. How awful. So that's why you didn't want to talk about your past. Yeah, it sounds an awful lot like DG cells. Just talking about these things gives me a goosebumps. But you were able to escape with your mind intact. How? Thanks to my dad. They rejected all humans who were unable to be made into Tekamen. Dad was rejected because they couldn't remodel him, so... So he freaked at you. He was certain he'd die there, but Dad... He, he used the last of his strength to save me. And only me. D-Boy. D-Boy! I understand it all now. I look at the records of the Argos and distinctly recall seeing a Teaka Shin and Shinya Eba on the React Rasta. That means Tekamen Evil is. Yes, Shinya is my younger brother. Not only that, but all the Tekamen. They're all members of my family, or close relatives. Huh? Holy crap, d -boy. I can't imagine that. Your enemies are all that close to you. That is nuts. What the heck? Are you... And you... 
get, yet you still hold on. Seriously, talk about overwhelming circumstances. Yeah, that's the worst of the worst of worst case scenarios, right there. Come in, Bridge. Bridge, is anyone there? Yes. What's the matter? Miyuki has come to her senses. Let the boy know. Yuki's awake. All right, I'm on my way. Have the captain and the others come down here too. There are some things I want to discuss. Huh? Us too? All right, let's go, everyone. Oh, brother. Miyuki. Brother, I finally found you. Are you all right, Miyuki? You're safe now. We'll be by your side from now on. Please, just rest up and get better. Brother, there's something I have to tell you before I die. Before you die? Don't say things like that, Miyuki. You aren't going to die. I'll make sure of it. Thank you, brother. But I already know it's going to happen. I'm an incomplete tech man I don't believe this. God, Miyuki, we find a way around this. My friends are here, and they're going to help you. Don't worry, you'll be f all right. I see, brother. It is true, they are, are they all on your side? Yes, it is. They're all with me in the fight against the Radom. Then I want to thank everyone from the Space Knights, as well as the Desco and the Archangel for fighting alongside my brother. Uh, nah, it's the opposite. He's the one who keeps helping us. I came here to warn all of you of the immediate danger. Soon the Radom's invasion will speed up dramatically. What did you say? Yeah, gosh, wasn't that invasion we've been dealing with up to now a real, the real thing? The Rom trees corrupting the earth, the beasts, and the five Tekamen. Are you saying there were just heralds? What I learned from this is them is this. When Radom trees blossom, earth will become the Radoms, and the time is nearly at hand. Where Radom trees blossom. What's that awful suggestion? I'm sure D-Boy would have told us that eventually, but I just thought those trees were some kind of funky decoration. You guys, it's making me sick. Yuki, do you remember where you woke up? It was inside the Radom mothership. Chief? Oh, I get it. So that means the place where the she woke up should be no different from where Evil and the others did. I mean, it's entirely likely this sh that said ship is the enemy stronghold. D-Boy, what happened to the Radon Mothership after Professor Aiba rescued you? After that, I seem to remember Dad sabotaging it. From what I could tell, he was heading to deep space. Wait, no. It didn't make it to the other outer space. It crashed into the fused with a waste disposal colony, and the Radon continued to breed. A waste disposal colony? That's their stronghold. Yes. Unfortunately, I was unable to confirm its exact location. That's the place where the one who commands the other Tekamen, Tekamen Omega, is. Uh, Miyuki! Miyuki, are you alright? Uh, uh. Oh no. Save this for later, everyone. Can we do anything, Dr. Arin? Yes. Let's concentrate on stopping the spasms for now. Miyuki, can you hang on? Just a little longer. Miyuki! D-Boy, let's leave this to the doctors, alright? Gah. Darn it! And I am am I powerless to help? She's my only sister and I and 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 all I can do is watch. D boy. Aki D boy, yeah, D boy. Aki, why are you crying over me? Okay. Next plot twist. Come on. Rolls around to Australia. Okay. Is this the that commander croissant's coming? I mean, is it true that command I can't read today! Well, I can never read. I'm horrible at English. Hey, Yazak. Seems you're as excitable as ever, Yazak. Commander, pa pardon me. It's no issue. As all of you must be aware of by now, Operation Spitbreak will soon be underway. It's for that very reason that I'm here to take command. You will be under my command once again as a result. I want to see all of you preparing for this operation according Negligence and la laziness will not be overlooked. Make sure that these instructions get passed on to the others. Yes, Commander, I have a request. Please let me have another shot at the legged ship in the Desco. You're coming in too hot, Yazak. But I understand how you feel. What happened to Nicole was unfortunate. I feel the same as you do about getting revenge for his tra this tragedy. M me too. Please let us take this opportunity, Commander. Hmm, Atherin, what about you? Could you kill him e if given the chance? 
The truth is, I was the one who was supposed to die. Nicole, Nicole protected me from the strike. Please, let me do this. So that's how it is. I understand all too well how you feel. Fine, I have no right to prevent you from going, so I will allow you another chance. However, you have to do one thing for me. If I lose any of you from this, I'll be in a very difficult position. Right. You have our utmost gratitude, Commander. Kira, I'll kill you of my own vol vol volition. My destined foes, the legacy ship, and the Nesco. I wonder what the outcome will be. Now we're in Gadosian ships! Wow, it is like we were on Earth, now we're in space. Okay. Gale, we finally reached Earth, and I have yet to take your revenge. You're eyeing the bloody Kaiser now. You never give up, do you? You're done with the Commander Geiler's unit, so you've decided to go after the ex his Accelerancy Rukat Canes. Is that what this is about? Carla. I suppose that's nothing for a fox like you. I wasn't thinking about taking it. I already have enough power to take on Edgy. Ha! Well said, after all. It was Edgy who killed your fiancé, Commander Gale. I suppose you're thinking of seducing His Ex Excellency to take his place? You're being disrespectful, Carla. Be careful. You tread on shaky ground. W what? A woman with such foul blood flowing in her veins dares to tell me to play my play. Whoa, a cat fight. Well, ain't that just adorable? Well, ain't it? Gastero, when did you get here? What's the matter? Aren't you gonna continue? I wanna watch. Ch disgusting. We'll finish this later. Heh. <laughs> Hey, what's with that attitude? Didn't I just bail your butt out? I don't remember asking you for any favors. Gah, so that's how it is. In that case, you better scramble with me wherever I go. Or maybe you could just want me to kill the edgy jerk. Is that it? You're useless. I won't allow you to intrude on our battle. You- Ah! Who the heck do you think you are saying that? <laughs> <laughs> you jerks! What do you want? What an ironic masterpiece. You hold affection for a woman who insists on giving you the cold shoulder. Dear sweet little Julia. Yeah. <laughs> Cram it, you dwarf. what you call me? Hey, Mangelo. Anyone who calls me a dwarf gets curb stomped after three days. Tops. You think you can escape just because you're our com comrade in arms, Gastero? <laughs> and what are you going to do about it? Well, hey, cut it out, you two. Fighting before we scramble is only going to get to incur Lord Kane's wrath. I'm sure you don't want that, right, Gastero? I'll remember this, Carla. Carla, you too. I'll never forget what you did to Julia. Heh. <laughs> you make sick. Woman, the rest of you, let's go. Soon all this will be over, Edgy. No matter what kind of humiliation I have to bear. What happened to D-Boy's little sister? She's resting for the time being. Professor Fassange and Captain Irene are watching over her. What a bummer. The guy finally gets to meet his sister, and then she this happens. On top of that, his only family is the enemy. Arthur, stop it. Oh, so sorry, I didn't mean to. I know, Arthur. I'm worried, too. Bobby, will Miyuki be alright? Well, I hope so. That'd be great. So she's going to be fine, right? Not... Mr. D-Boy will be really sad. Is she really going to be alright? I wonder. Come on, Damon. Tell us how you really feel. Stop it, you two. You don't have to press your Damon like that. You know. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, Damon. D-Boy's stronger than that. He survived just to fight the enemy, and they used to be his friends and family. He can't be this week, that weak. But, hey, Domon. I know you've been through a lot, but don't you know, don't you think that might be pushing it? Be a little more considerate. That's why I'm saying it. I'll repeat myself. All we can do as his friends is support him. As long as he has us behind him, he won't go under. I'm sure of it. Wow, Domon. Eh, using a confident, self-assuring line like that. Just the kind of thing I would do. Hey, Edgy, aren't you the same way? Simone, what do you mean? I'm right behind you, that's what I mean. M me too. I see. Thank you. Transmission to all ships. All crew members. Please report to the upper floor at once for a briefing report. All crew members. Alright, remember. 
We have to do what we can. Let's all concentrate on what we've got on our hands for the time being. You got that, Melia? Yes, Bobby. Admiral Mizumura is presenting the Radom issue to the upper ranks. Mithril will be taking action as well. The upper ranks, huh? Well, it couldn't hurt. Maybe they'll help us for a change. That was uncalled for, Fujiwara. Well, it's not like the UEFA's done a lot to help. Honestly, besides where Dom trees are already spread across the entire world, even if the war ends right now, it's probably too late to try to uproot them. That may be true, but is it, re is it really okay for a commanding officer to admit that? We can't take this problem head on. There's gotta be a better way to deal with this. Find a better way, then. Yeah, that would sure be convenient right about now. Eureka! If Orphan flies up in the sky after all, won't it kill all the Redom trees? Um, that's a good idea! The only catch is it will wipe out mankind at the same time. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should leave the and become a nun. Inns? You look up the pot. Want to join me? They're planning to hole up with some holy orders. Heh 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 heh. Fair will accomplish little at this point. The last, that last pun really worked out, though. It's a matter of resolve. We can do little else but trust that we have the power to reverse the situation. Chief, you got any ideas? Attack their stronghold. That's the only way. Agreed. Hm, so it all comes down to this. Yes, it's a good operation. There's a very specific target inside their stronghold based on what Miyuki's told us. The enemy's leader is Tekaman Omega. We must try to pinpoint his location. Millie, you are to take care of the analysis of Miss Hashino. Your help would mu be much appreciated as well. Miss Hashino? Oh dear little Rory. Of course, help them out, Rory. Understood, I will assist you. Tear the source of evil out by the root, eh? I see. By the way, isn't D-Boy coming? I think he would want to be the first one to go flying out to fight those jerks. He's still by Miyuki's side. Aki is with them too, so I don't think we have to worry about it. Just leave him be. Our next target is Yokosuka, right then. Yes, even under tree these conditions, we may still be called upon to return to the space. That's why we have to attack as soon as we can. It's a forced march for us. But isn't Zaft's sphere of influence nearby? Will we really be okay? Yes, but we do don't have time for detours. Concentrate on observing the area and let nothing pass. Kira's also patrolling the area. Understood. So, should I patrol too? I can head out there if you need me. Tolly, what are you talking about? You're only flown a s the simulator so far. Yeah, but you know. Get it out. You need more experience before you can go out there. Getting into danger is only going to make the other's pilots worry about you. R right. Lieutenant Yamato, please launch in the strike for patrol duty. I repeat. Well, it's a good thing I put him in the ale. Oh, they are calling you. Man, you sure are working hard. Did you at least get some sleep? Only a little, but I have to go. Birdie! Oh, why, thank you. Will you let me take a look at Mr. Birdie later, Kira? Yeah, I could use some time to unwind myself. See ya. Uh, Kira, Flay. Kira, I, I... Sorry, Flay, but I have to scramble. Kira... If you have something to say to me, save it for after I return. Later. Aw. Hey, Kira, what's the matter with him anyway? Maybe they broke up. Looks like it, or perhaps they just got into a fight. Who knows? We shouldn't But is in to their business anyway. True. All right. We should be heading back, too. Kira. Bye-bye, Flay. Kira, the radar is full of blind spots because of the insolent islets in the area. We'll be counting on you to compensate for us with visual recon. R Roger, wait, visual recon? You said hold on. What's the matter? Is there something inside that cloud? There they are, the legged ship. Bingo. Bingo, right on the money. Yeah, Zach, are you ready? Yeah, lit. Looks like we're you were right on the money, Hathren. Come on, strike. Grah! Darn bridge mobile suits at 10 o'clock! What'd you say? An ambush! Darn it! What a bunch of clever little squirts! 
Take this, strike for Nicole! What the- You! Put the hell darts and God freeze on standby. Cure, we'll be departing from our position at full speed. Hold on until then. Understood. Oh no you don't. Now let's go. Crap! The agents in the buster. Port side is under attack. Ugh, the engines. Captain, the output won't rise. We need more beryllium crystals! <laughs> Control, concentrate on keeping our position stable. All sections report. Hurry up with the repairs. They're coming again. Don't let them get too close. Eggless slugs, fire! Anti-air fire! That won't stop us. Come on, come on. Go down, you darn-legged ship. Alright, I can't do this alone. I'm gonna kill you, Strike! Come on, Archangel! Look, back up for bad guys. That's not good. Well, what's happening to Archangel? He's taking on a beating. This isn't good. Activate the field. Get in front of the Archangel. He'll act as their shield. What? Hey, don't you think you should worry a little more about us? But at this rate, they're going to take down the Archangel. Rory, maintain the field. Roger, maintaining field. Gravity engine running at 120% capacity and rising. This could be bad. Bridge, you're being reckless as usual. Any more pressure, I won't be held responsible for what happens. The Desco, the Archangel can't move thanks to the last attack. Understood. We'll be covering the Archangel immediately. Ray, concentrate on the field around the ship's frontal section. We'll cover the Archangel while we attack. Did you get that, everyone? Roger. I'm counting on you. Okay, one, two. So wait, did we raise our max to 16 units at a time? That'd be cool. Arblast, Pegasus, Max, Kaiser, Maxter, Cougar, Voltus, Great, Rose. I want also want to bring. I want to see if I want to bring anyone else. I can bring no, but I don't want to bring no. I can bring Aki in the Blue Earth. Wow, Akito has 36 kills. You know what? Bolt, stay here. Bolt. And x -Ash reveal. Change position. Move you over here. Solar units, uh, granted. Why are you over there, dude? You're gonna have to heal the Archangel. Yeah, yeah, like, why not bring a Keto? He might be interesting to have this time around. Very good, we can't move. Then we don't, we have to stop their attacks. Don't let them get any closer. That's where my strategy of heal Archangel so it doesn't get blown up comes in handy. Wait, we have Mule of Ah, oh, good thing I gave that thing the Ales unit and it thinks it's gonna be speedy. Move all the Gundam units up front, then put them on the ground. It's taking a while, actually. I'm gonna leave Boss back here to protect the Archangel! <laughs> that just sounds stupid. I'm curious, um, let's take a look at you. I never actually looked at the Ash Dash Well, uh, it's better in the- it's good in the air as well as the ground. It gotta stay within range- Oh. So 
So, like the normal Astral, the X-Astral has to stay within a certain range of the, the Desco, or else it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Crap. Oh! It is quick, though. 38% chance. Oh, we got Argo Defended. Now, I'll take it. Let's see, what what do we actually got? We got, we got gra Gravity... We have Gravity Blast. Is that all we got? On land, the Book who reigns supreme. Well, it's a good thing I'm in the air! I can fig- Oh my god, this thing needs EN boost now! The armor! Oh, it recharges every turn. Land. 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 There we go. Repair. Oh, I'm actually in range for some stuff. Rose bits. Wow. That's some good range on punch. One of me down, many you go. Probably a really bad idea. Who knows? They might do that. This might work out. Sorry, Mew. I raised my skills and you'll be in deep trouble. Here they come, missiles away. I think this animation should have been like the missiles coming forward and like they do some quick dodging and stuff like that. Let's see what their machine was machine can looks like. It's not Vulcans, it's actually machine guns that come out of the shoulders. Still does 10. Eureka. Ooh. 
Whew. Essentially going for oh llama driver. Eye for an eye. Okay. I want to become a cook. There's no way I'm going to die in some battle. Oh, crap. You tricky. Oh, good enough. Long range missile fire. Darn you all. Curse you and your support backups! Giant missile. This will settle it. Voltaka! You intend to use the power to obliterate the plants? Love my range. Eureka, finish him. Ah, you, you missed! I see this final blow, but it's the weakest attack. Up, oh. instincts. <laughs> 